Thank you. Uh, I want to turn a bit personal uh, question. Um, your qualification exits everybody in Europe. Um, why we did not see you in the chair of Secretary General? Uh, and number two question, if I may, um, how we can challenge the veto here at, at the United Nations, how we can see one day veto will be go away? Thank you. You know, when I was Prime Minister of Norway, one of the three periods of my time, uh, there was a process of uh, selecting the next Secretary General. It was at the time when Butros Ghali became the new Secretary General. At that time, you know, I was kind of, uh, a lot of people were talking and several, you know, uh, Security Council members were asking for my name and all that. So it, it has happened over my lifetime that this issue has been there. And then again, when Kofi Annan was, and I was prime minister, and I came completely out of it, I was doing my work, and there was su such a lot on my plate that it was not, you know, it was not my initiative in any way. Then, when Kofi Annan came, and people started asking me again, I said, look, th this is Africa's turn, because I don't, I didn't really feel that Butros Ghali had you know, fulfill the rights of Africa to have that leadership. So I pointed to Kofi Annan to everybody who approached me. That's the story of that. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, uh, it's been, uh, we are very happy about the selection now of uh, the Secretary General, and, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Guterres. I met him first time in 1983 a young leader of the Social Democratic Party of Portugal, I remember saying to my staff and others, this, this young man is going to be a future leader. I, and then he became prime minister, he became uh, UNHCR, and, and we have him here. I think it was a great choice. Sure. And the veto? Uh, well, sorry, I, 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 the veto we spoke about earlier, huh? The, 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 the restraint, even the restraint of the veto that we have tried to advocate is a hard sell. We have just spoken with the uh, deputy uh, vice president, of the vice, vice president uh, some of the vice presidents of the assembly, and they are explaining, you know, how they are now looking into these issues on, uh, what did they call a, a thought paper? Yeah, yeah not a, a non-paper. Food, food for thought. Food for thought paper. Food. I mean, it's up, and they were explaining how difficult that even the limited um, question that we have raised is. It should, should it, something should change, yes. And uh, there is need 